If you're into sports at all, there's going to be some teams that you know well. You know who their players are and what their strategies are in terms of how they're going to go about trying to win the game. And that is certainly true in the world of virtualization. There are different companies out there that provide different types of virtualization services. So we're just going to take a moment and focus on the big who of virtualization. Who's out there and what are they providing? So when it comes to virtualization as a whole, the four biggest players out there are VMware, Microsoft, Red Hat, and Citrix. And each of these historically has had their own strengths or certain areas of virtualization that they focused on. So let's just talk about what kind of areas those might be. One of them is server virtualization. The classic idea of taking a server and instead of doing a bare metal install onto hardware, installing the server operating system and applications into a virtual machine. And very similar to that, there's also desktop virtualization where a user remotes into a virtual machine that provides the desktop operating system with the applications that they need to run for the desktop, the client side of the client server relationship and allowing for flexibility to sit anywhere and have access to the exact same desktop, picking up right where you left off if that's what you need. There's also some other types of virtualization that are designed to support the core server and desktop virtualization elements, and that's storage virtualization. You might think you're saving to a storage area network, but what you're really saving to is a virtual storage network. And so the virtual machine and virtual machine hard drive files that are used by the server and desktop models of virtualization can be stored by the same platform that provides the virtualization itself. And you know, those server and desktop devices need to be able to communicate with each other and the networking can be virtualized as well in such a way that the platform itself provides the networking between the various different server and desktop elements without ever having to touch the physical network or affect the physical network one way or the other. And then one last kind of virtualization is application virtualization, which is really about separating each application from the server or desktop on which it might reside. Now, VMware is the big dog of virtualization. It really is. They are the biggest player out there. And all of these technologies that you see over here on the left, all these different types of virtualization, VMware can do them all. If we go to VMware's website and we start looking at certification, the list of certification options goes on and on. It's all about virtualization. That is what the company does. That's what the V in VMware is for but they are certainly not the only player out there in the virtualization world. Let's look at Microsoft. Now, Microsoft is classically an application and operating system provider. We're familiar with Office, Windows, Windows Server. And they saw that their products were being virtualized, that, for example, they might be running on a VMware platform. And so they produced their own version of a hypervisor that they called Hyper-V. And originally, it wasn't any great shakes in the virtualization world, but over time, it's improved and is definitely on par and has some interesting licensing options because it's a part of the Microsoft family if you are working with Microsoft products. But if we go to Microsoft's page and look up certification and what kind of options are available, we're going to see virtual virtualization is kind of buried. Because for Microsoft, it is a part of the MCSE related to core infrastructure. It's what are the technologies you use to support our operating system and our applications. When we look at Citrix, they have a history that comes all out of application virtualization. It's all about being able to separate the application from the underlying product. And so that's what Citrix started off as. However, over time, they have developed and redeveloped their products and, and competed with VMware and Microsoft. And so now they offer server virtualization and desktop virtualization, as well as application and networking virtualization. So if we go to their site and take a look at what they offer, it's actually a pretty wide array of options. And then finally, let's take a look at Red Hat. Now, Red Hat produces a Linux operating system. That's what they're known best for. But in addition to the core operating system, they provide a lot of other services as well. And one of the things they realized that they needed to provide for the open source community was their own hypervisor. And so there is the Red Hat hypervisor. And there, sure enough, if we go to their website in amongst all the other certifications, there's one right there that focuses in on virtualization. 
So as you continue to pursue studying virtualization, getting certified so you can present yourself as a subject matter expert in virtualization, these are going to be the companies that are going to be providing the technologies that you're going to be focusing on. And it's good to see their slant, their, their bias, if you will, that they might have in the world of virtualization because of their history and the products that they provide. I hope this has been informative for you, and I'd like to thank you for viewing.